Turkanik, and I live at 155 Berkeley Avenue in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Uh, today, I'm speaking uh, to thank the board and superintendent for listening to the will of the students regarding the possible change in schedule for many of the high schools especially. Uh, I'm glad that you made the decision that you did, and I think it respected uh, the student voice thoroughly. My students were overjoyed when I told them the schedule wouldn't be changing, and I know a number of them had signed the online petition to make their voices heard. And I am so happy to hear the superintendent talk about these uh, groups that he's meeting with because it really means that you are asking the community and the voices within the schools for their feedback. I think that's a really good step in the right direction. Also, I understand the original intention behind the schedule change was to meet a legal requirement for the amount of time in math and ELA on a weekly basis. And I understand that we need to consider how making sudden major changes to the schedule would have had a serious impact on anybody who suffers from trauma and has started growing accustomed to the current routine. That's something I think that the district does not spend enough time thinking about, how constant changes can affect those who have been affected by trauma. Frequently changing routines and goalposts for those suffering from trauma is one of the easiest ways to ensure that they continue that suffering. Trauma-informed pedagogy demands regularity, routine, openness, and clarity. Had this decision been made exclusively behind closed doors, it would have been in direct opposition to good pedagogical practice. On the issue of pedagogy, I want to say a special thanks to our fantastic CST and newly appointed NTU Executive Board member, Ms. Love Gellard, who has been working tirelessly to ensure that special needs legislation is adhered to in Newark Vocational High School. With her hard work and the leadership of Principal Kyle Brown, Newark Vocational has been able to hire and place a number of inclusion teachers. Uh, part of the reason um, I'm getting a little uh, like teary eyed right now is I, it's my pleasure to announce that this is my first time in over a dec, well actually just a decade uh, of teaching in Newark that I've had an actual inclusion teacher in any of my classrooms. And I know that my students will soon begin to reap the very substantial benefits and rewards that go with that additional support. So finally, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy holidays and remember both those that we love and those that we've lost. Thank you.